So today, we are going to look at cross multiplication. Cross multiplication is my favorite way to quickly compare fractions. The steps to performing cross multiplication are very straightforward. You simply multiply the numerator of one fraction times the denominator of the other. Look at the two fractions of 3 fourths compared to 5 sevenths. Instead of performing the full steps of converting fractions to equivalents and then evaluating, we can simply perform cross multiplication to see which is greater. Looking at the numerator of our first fraction, 3, we multiply it by the denominator in our second fraction, 7. We get 21. We always write the result next to the numerator that we are multiplying. Next, we take the numerator of our second fraction, 5, times the denominator of our first fraction, 4 and we get 20. We write the 20 next to this numerator, and now we can see that 21 is larger than 20. It's really that simple. Let's do another example. 3 sevenths compared to 2 sixths. Which one is greater? We take the numerator in our first fraction of 3 and multiply it by the denominator of our second fraction, 6, and we get 18. We write that down here with our first fraction. Next, we take the numerator of our second fraction, 2, and multiply it by the denominator of the first fraction, 7, to get 14. 18 is greater than 14, so 3 sevenths is greater than 2 sixths. Now you may be wondering, does cross multiplication work for improper fractions? Yes, it does. Let's look at 7 thirds compared to 6 halves. 7 times 2 is 14, and 3 times 6 is 18. 6 halves is greater than 7 thirds. We can validate that because we know that 7 thirds is actually the same thing as saying 2 and 1 thirds. If you convert it to a mixed number, and 6 halves is the same thing as 3 wholes. 3 is greater than 2 and 1 thirds. But what if you were given a problem like this and you were asked to make fractions equivalent? 4 over 20 equivalent to what over 5? Since we know we can use cross multiplication to figure out which one is greater, we should be able to use the same methodology to make them equivalent. 4 times 5 equals 20. So what number times 20 equals 20? Well, 1 of course. So 4 twentieths is actually equivalent to 1 fifth. Don't forget, if you want some more problems using cross multiplication, head on over to improvemath.com slash additional resources for some more practice problems and answers. If this video helped you, you know how you can help me? See you next time.